Adam says, I heard that some people will cross the Sirat like lightning. Who are those people? Well, let us break it down. What is the Sirat? Sirat is the way. But when we talk about the Day of Judgment, the word Sirat has a particular meaning. And this refers to a bridge over the edges of hellfire. So in order to go to safety, you have to cross the bridge. Now this bridge is unlike any other bridge. First of all, on the day of judgment, when you cross the bridge, it would be pitch black. And people will be given light according to their good deeds. And this is mentioned in Surah Al-Hadid and also in Surah Al-Tahrim. The believers will be given light in front of them and to their right. The bridge width is also variable. So to those who have good deeds, it would be very wide. And for those who have bad deeds that are more than their good deeds or have no good deeds to begin with, it would be as sharp as a blade and as thin as a hair. <laughs> Thirdly, the speed of people crossing it also is variable. It varies. Some, as the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, cross it in a blink of an eye. Others cross it in the speed of lightning. Others cross it as the speed of wind and hurricanes. And others cross it as if they are on the horse, uh, on the back of horses that are very fast. Others jog across. Others walk. And unfortunately, others walk and crawl sometimes because they fall. And others don't make it at all. Hooks from hellfire comes and picks them up and throws them in hell. So, who are those who are so fortunate to cross it in a blink of an eye? This is all dependent on your good deeds. The prophets stand at the side of the sirat of this bridge and they supplicate to Allah by saying, Allahumma sallim sallim. O oh Allah, make things go in safety and in good terms because they're afraid for their people. Those who have good deeds, their good deeds will illuminate and give them light so they can see where they're walking and they do not slip and fall over. Their speed, the width, the light they're given, all is dependent on their good deeds. And we know that good deeds erase bad deeds. And this is why we tell you to always charge your credit. We always tell people, Akhi, make an extra umrah. Give charity for the cause of Allah. Pray few more rak'ahs before Fajr as night prayer. Maintain fasting Mondays and Thursdays every week and the three white days if you can every month. Try your level best to engage in dhikr 24-7. So when, we, when you're walking from your home to the masjid, don't think about the debts you have or about the things you want to do 
Instead, just say, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, wa la hawla la quwwata illa billah. As this elevates your level in paradise, increases your good deeds, erases your bad deeds. So that when it comes on the day of judgment for you to cross the sirat, then you would be in good hands with the grace of Allah. It's note, it's worth saying that only the Muslims and the hypocrites would cross this sirat. Disbelievers are taken initially and thrown into hell. So the only people who would cross the sirat are the believers and the semi-believers. And when we say the believers, we do not exclusively say that they are the Muslims, the followers of Prophet Muhammad No, this includes the followers of Isa, of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, until the time of our Prophet. These are considered to be Muslims. And also it includes the Jews who followed Moses until the time of Jesus. And all the followers of the previous messengers and prophets of Allah Azza wa Jal.